Welcome to Faith in Five, a weekly video devotional designed to discuss practical spiritual concepts in five minutes or less. I'm your host, Mark Vandella. So social media outlets have increased our ability to crowdsource. It's starting to become a, a thing that's regularly showing up in our feeds. It, I, I noticed that it kind of started where people were asking polls and even every once in a while people would say, for a school project, and that seemed like that increased the amount of people that would answer. You know, how many cups of coffee do you drink on average? And I've seen people say, hey, anybody have suggestions on uh, what mattress they've used and or the food delivery programs and strollers and baby seats and all of this stuff. People use social media to crowdsource. And it's made it a, kind of a, a normal concept in business when we're starting and uh, introducing a new product into the world, that's a pretty normal process of doing some interviews, seeing how people, you know, uh, kind of like a case study of how people like the product, use the product, the benefits of the product. But now with social media outlets, it's opened the door for the average person like you and me to be able to just get a quick opinion, see how many people are liking what. And, and also the, the nice thing about it is we're not being paid to give our honest opinion. And so crowdsourcing is kind of a fun thing. But what if we could take that idea of crowdsourcing that actually comes from design thinking and apply it to our faith? How might we do that? How would we include others and not necessarily just opinions into our lives, but how would we include others in a way that really benefit us so that we can learn from them, learn from their mistakes, learn from their experiences, also get really good feedback for decisions that we're about to make in our lives. I think a, a pretty common memory verse or a verse that people use often is Matthew 18, 20. This is the, uh, where two or more of you gather in my name, I will also be. And that's a normal quote for us to use that, hey, this is great. We're all together at church or we're all together in a small group. But what if we could also take that beyond just the four walls of a church. What if we could apply that in other areas of our lives and that might invite God into these other pieces of our lives so that we don't have our work life and our faith life or our home life and our faith life. What if we could bring all that together into one using this idea from Matthew 18, 20? The message actually says it a little bit differently. It says, uh, when two of you get together, on anything at all on earth, make a prayer of it. So, you know, when you get together, you know, do so in God's name. And when you do so, God will show up. It says, Jesus is saying, my father in heaven goes into action. So when we invite people into our lives to live our lives alongside of us, to ask questions of people, to gain from their experience, God shows up. We can use this concept of crowdsourcing in our own lives. And I want you to think about three ways that you could do that moving forward in your faith this week. Number one is to just involve others in some of the big decisions you're doing. If you want to do big stuff, bring people into that. Bounce some ideas off of trusted friends. Be careful with it. You don't have to announce it to social media. That's not something that you would crowdsource in that way. But have a couple people in your life and invite them into it because you're also inviting God opportunities to speak into some of these big ideas. Starting a business, moving, having a child, all those sorts of things that are big ideas. The second thing you could do is as you involve people in your life, do it from a, a kind of a, a, a way of thinking about accountability in a really healthy, accountable way. When we do that, we invite other people in, hey, I'm making a big decision or, or actually, I actually have done this in my life. I have two or three friends that I've said, hey, here's something that is a concern of mine. And I want you, as you watch me live my life, as you watch me do things in social spaces or as I build my business or even as I spend my money, if you see something that's out of line, tell me. And I think when I do that, I open the door for God to show up in new ways. My friends will weigh in and say, I've noticed you've been doing this a lot lately. I'm concerned. And I've given them that permission. And what I've done, I've said, hey, where two or more of us gather, God will show up. And he'll help me discern, is this right? Is this what I should be doing? And then lastly, 
we, when we do these things, when we are able to involve others in cool celebration, fun things, or on the accountability side, be really intentional about inviting God into that. So the third way to kind of crowdsource is to be overt about using God in those situations. I mean, in the Matthew 18, 20, the message version, it says, do so prayerfully. Like, don't pretend that, hey, I'd like you to do this and I hope God shows up. No, the third point would be intend on God showing up. Say, hey, because of this with a friend, I want you to help speak God into my life or show me where God's showing up. If you go out this week and try to include, be specific about a couple of people, choose some people and involve them in your lives, you will apply design thinking, the crowdsourcing part of that to your faith. And I believe, I firmly believe that you experience God showing up in new ways.